Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I will discuss some important previous year's ICC questions from periodic table. If you haven't watched the previous lessons on this topic, then first you can go and watch those videos because otherwise you will find problem while answering these questions. I have explained this topic in detail in all those videos. So let's start. Here is the first question. You can pause the video and try to answer. In this way you can evaluate how much you have understood this topic. Now this question states that among the period 2 elements, the one which has high electron affinity, 4 options are given, lithium, carbon, fluorine, neon. The answer is very simple. I have already discussed this answer in my previous video. This is the periodic table. See, the elements are lithium, carbon, fluorine, neon. What is the trend of electron affinity across a period? Across a period, when we move from left to right of a periodic table, then electron affinity increases. That means the highest value among the period 2 elements will be of fluorine. Why not neon? Neon is a noble gas, so it is inert in nature. Its valence electron is already, its valence shell is already completed. That means it has already achieved octet. So it will not accept any more electron. That's why for the noble gases, electron affinity is zero. So here the answer is fluorine. I think it's clear to you. Next question. Again, you can pause the video and try to answer. With reference to the variation of properties in the periodic table, which of the following is generally true? Four statements are given. Among these four statements, you have to choose the one which is true, that means which is correct. Four properties, atomic size, ionization potential, electron affinity and electronegativity. I have told you earlier that you have to remember the trains of all the properties. It's very important. Questions come from the trains of these properties. Here are four properties, atomic size, electron affinity, electronegativity and ionization potential. When we move across a period from left to right of a periodic table, atomic size decreases. Whereas ionization potential, electron affinity, electronegativity, all these three properties increases when we move from left to right. But when we move from top to down, that means down a group, atomic size of the elements increases. Whereas ionization potential, electron affinity, electronegativity, all these three properties decreases when we move from top to down. Okay. So let's see the four statements. First statement says atomic size increases from left to right across a period. Okay which is incorrect. Next, ionization potential increases from left to right across a period, which is correct. Next, electron affinity increases going down a group, which is also incorrect. Next, electronegativity increases going down a group, which is also incorrect. That means the right statement is the second one. Ionization potential increases from left to right across a period. This will be the answer. I think it's clear to you all. Now next question. The following questions refer to the periodic table. You have to answer all these three questions. First question. Name the first and the last elements in period 3. Very simple. This is the periodic table. This is period 3. First element is sodium. Last element is argon. So we have to write that in period 3 the first element is sodium and the last element is argon. This is the answer. Now next question. What happens to the atomic size of elements moving from top to bottom of a group? I have told you just few seconds ago that when we move from top to down, that means down a group, atomic size of elements increases. Okay, this is the answer or this is the trend. Next question is, what is the common feature of the electronic configurations of the elements in group 7? C. In my previous video, I have told you that the group number signifies the number of electrons that are present in the valence shell of an element. Those elements who are present in group 7, that means all those elements will contain 7 electrons in its valence shell. And the question is what will be the common feature of the electronic configuration? So the common feature in the electronic configuration of all those elements who are present in group 7 is all those elements will have 7 electrons in its valence shell. I think it's clear to you all. Next question. You have to carefully read the question. The question says the elements of one short period of the period trick table are given below in order from left to right. Short period. Here the period number is not mentioned. You have to look at the elements lithium, allium, boron, carbon, oxygen, fluorine, neon. 
and the first question is to which period do these elements belong i have told you that you have to memorize at least the first 20 elements of the periodic table and that too in chronological order that means according to their atomic number in a chronological order you have to memorize the first 20 elements of the periodic table and if you memorize then it will be very easy for you to answer this type of question because looking at the element you will understand that this element belongs to group 2 i mean period 2 see lithium beryllium boron these elements belong to period 2 okay so the answer will be the elements belong to period 2 next question one element of this period is missing which is the missing element and where should it be placed see lithium beryllium boron carbon after carbon there should be nitrogen so nitrogen is the missing element and it should be placed between carbon and oxygen look at the periodic table here you can see after carbon nitrogen is present which is placed between carbon and oxygen okay i think it's clear to you all now next question please oh sorry next question is which one of the elements in this period shows the property of catenation what is catenation catenation means the element will have four valencies you will study this concept in detail in the chapter of organic chemistry i will make a separate video on that topic in that video i will tell you in detail that what is catenation for now you have to remember that carbon is the element carbon has four hands it has four valencies so that's why this is the element which shows the property of catenation clear next place the three elements fluorine beryllium and nitrogen in the order of increasing electronegativity three elements fluorine beryllium nitrogen these three elements what is the trend of electronegativity across the period when we move across a period from left to right then electronegativity increases that means least will be of beryllium and highest will be of fluorine we all know that fluorine has the highest electronegativity so highest will be of fluorine and we have to arrange these three elements in increasing order that means from least to most least will be at the left and most will be at the right so let's arrange first will be beryllium then nitrogen then fluorine beryllium then nitrogen then fluorine you have to give an arrow and here you have to write that it is in increasing order of electronegativity okay i think it is clear to you all now next question is which one of the above elements belongs to the halogen series halogen which elements are halogens i have told you in my previous video halogens means group 17 elements are halogens and among these elements fluorine is the halogen fluorine is present in group 17 so fluorine is the element among these elements fluorine is halogen okay clear next question see the question carefully the following table represents the first three periods of the periodic table study the table and answer the questions that follow first three periods are given one two three three periods are given okay and we have to write first question is write the formula of the sulfate of the element with atomic number 13 aluminium has an atomic number of 13 so you we have to basically write the sulfate that is formed by aluminium aluminium okay so write the formula of aluminium sulfate what is the valency of aluminium plus 3 what is the valency of sulfate minus 2 what does it make al2 so4 whole 3 right this is the formula of aluminium sulfate this is the answer of the first question clear next name the element which has the highest ionization potential which element has the highest ionization potential i have told you in my previous video which element has the highest ionization potential i have discussed that noble gases have highest ionization potential and here helium will have the highest ionization potential why 
because ionization potential increases across the period and decreases down the group. So, from hydrogen to helium, it is increasing. After helium, it is decreasing down the group. So, helium will have the highest ionization potential. And why noble gases have high ionization potential? I have discussed in my previous video. Again, I am repeating because noble gases are inert. Their valence shell is completed. So, they will not lose any electron, neither they will gain any electron. And ionization potential is the energy that is required to remove an electron from an element or from an atom. Okay. So, these noble gases will not, it is, that means noble gas is not ready to give any element, or I mean electron. Okay. So, more energy will be required to forcefully remove an electron from an noble gas. That's why noble gas have high electron ionization potential. So, here helium is the element which will have highest electron, I mean ionization potential, highest electron, uh, highest ionization potential is of helium. Next is, which feature of the atomic structure accounts for the similarities in the chemical properties of the elements in group 7 of the periodic table? You have to carefully read the question. Okay. So, in group 7 of the periodic table, what is the similar feature? The same question I have discussed in the previous one, in the previous question, the same answer is, the answer is absolutely same. In period 7, I have discussed about the period, I mean in group 7, I'm sorry, in group 7, I have just, it's the similar type of question I have discussed just in the previous question. It was of period and this is of group. So, all the elements that are present in group 7 will have 7 electrons in their outer shell, right? Outermost shell. Why? Because group number signifies the number of electrons present in the outermost shell. Exactly the same answer. All the elements who are present in group 7, they will have 7 electrons in its valence shell, right? Now, next question. What is the name given to the energy released when an atom in its isolated gaseous state accepts an electron to form an anion? In my previous video, I have discussed that when an atom accepts an electron, then what happens? An energy is released and that energy is known as electron affinity. Electron affinity. Okay. I think it is clear to you all. All the questions that I have discussed, I think it is clear. You have to remember the trains and you have to memorize the elements, at least first 20 elements in the periodic table. Then only it will be very easy for you to answer the questions from periodic table. So this is for this lesson and I will upload the videos on the other topics very soon. Till then, stay tuned to my channel. And if you think my videos are informative and they are helpful, then please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching the video.